Now, in an effort to honour and appreciate the achievements of children living with long-term serious health needs, the Well Child Awards have recognised many young people over the years. Today, we've been catching up with Mia Thorne, who won Inspirational Young pers Person back in 2019. Mike Griffiths has been finding out how that award has motivated her ever since. This park is more than just a space for Mia and her mother to enjoy. It's a testament to her determination to campaign for other people too. She successfully lobbied the council to make the area more accessible. I have some palsy which affects the right side of my body, meaning my right leg and like my right arm are weaker, which means like I can't do like certain activities like running and that, and also sometimes I have to use my wheelchair. I campaign for disabled children and disabled children's rights. I'm ambassador for three charities. I think I sent a few letters and videos explaining why the park needs to change because there wasn't even nothing accessible. You could go on as most of the stuff with just crying and stuff. Mia leads a very active life, but the pandemic has taken its toll, both physically and emotionally. It's been harder because like all my physiotherapy and that stopped, meaning like my legs were getting worse because the hospital appointment stopped. I wasn't being able to carry on with the exercises I was doing. And what was that like? It was really hard because I found my legs were hurting more often than they normally would and I was struggling to walk as much as I used to be able to. You had to have to self-manage a lot more than what you normally do um, and that's hard when you've got a child that's disabled in the house. Um, it affected her mobility so we took about 10 steps backwards because she was finding she had a lot more pain, she was less mobile, less active. We live at the top of the countryside, that was a lot harder to go out and about because um, the restrictions were you could you couldn't drive to a certain location. You've got a lot of hills here. A lot of hills. Um, it's not the best place to push a wheelchair around either when she was more lethargic. Before Covid, Mia was already a successful skater. Getting back, she says, has been a considerable boost. My mum had found inclusive skating online when she was researching about ice skating organisations that could help and it's just been a part of my life that said there's something I'm able to do and like it's something like when I'm with my friends and that's not something I need help doing with I know how to do it. I have started to get like a lot of my physio back but also I was doing all five sessions of inclusive skating and even though they for ice skating, they use a lot of the moves they use in physio, so that has helped me strengthen in my legs and core and arms. For Mia, the work continues to take on new challenges and inspire other people. Mike Griffiths, ITV News, Kilvanith.